Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Naninga Koe. If you've never seen my face before, I'm so grateful for you stumbling upon this channel. Yeah. And also, um, don't forget to subscribe and to like. Now that those awkward introductions are out of the way, let's get into the real deal today. So today I'm going to show you how you can move, like transform your makeup without having to do a full face of makeup or having to remove all your makeup. So in case you're the kind of person who normally requires to go somewhere after work or maybe you uh, you need to go visit somebody after work or go for a party, although right now the COVID uh, pandemic has really made us stay indoors, but in case you're going to visit a relative and maybe that person has a birthday party, you know, something, a small family gathering, a small friends gathering over and you don't have all your makeup around you, these are the things that personally I normally carry around in case I have such a situation like i have to bam change my makeup of course you cannot go to work with this makeup and in case you're wondering about this makeup look it's a christmas green makeup look that i just did uh for the holiday season to look like a christmas tree so you can check out that video i'm going to link it up up here or also in the description box below so of course let's assume that we we are in a crazy 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 world where i can go to work like this depending also on the type of job that you're doing i mean some people do go to work like this but yeah assuming that i did go to work like this and maybe i have um, a function to attend although i'm not going to do a party look but i'm just going to show you the bare essentials that you need to carry with you so that at least you don't look mad or worn out or tired or like you just didn't care for the party so here let's just proceed and i'm going to first show you the things that you require so the first thing that you normally require is wipes and these wipes i'm not going to show you the brand they're just wet wipes this is a must like these are not makeup wipes that i am using but i'm not going to show you the brand or anything because i don't want to confuse anybody some some wet wipes can irritate the eyes actually so you know me i have tough eyes so be careful but wet wipes preferably makeup remover wipes but if you can't find makeup remover wipes i'm assuming any type of wipe can work but there's a disclaimer just know that some wet wipes can actually irritate your eyes. Okay, then simple makeup. And this palette, for example, this is a Huda Beauty palette. Of course, it's a fake Huda Beauty. I bought it off Jumia and it was fake. But um, a good palette that has, for example, this one has eyeshadows. And it also has contour. And it also has this white thing. I don't know what it's for. And it has blush. So like a multi-use multi, multi -use palette is suitable you can even find a palette that also has like setting powder instead of carrying a setting powder but in this case we are carrying a setting powder so these two and then of course the applicators and i'm only going to have two applicators so that because remember you don't want to carry everything in your bag so i'm just going to have an eyeshadow brush and this brush and then you also need a comb of course and then also an eye pencil or whatever you normally do to for your brows probably like um I don't know like a spoolie or something of and this is just one of my favorites that i think if you're the kind of person who goes for so many events or so many functions especially after work or uh at the end of the day when you're really really tired eye drops and these ones are just called dry and tired eyes i'm not advocating for this in fact i don't think these ones work very well because i had another one but it ended but uh, these are just dry and tired eye drops. These ones are going to change your up your look, like because you're going to remove the makeup that you have. Definitely, that's going to irritate your eyes. And whether you're using makeup remover wipes or whatever, it's definitely going to irritate your eyes. And you want something that is going to clear up your eyes. And you can also take a cup of coffee. That's optional. If you're the kind of person who takes coffee, that's optional. But as you can see, what I've said is minimal. This is all. This is all. Literally, this is all. And that's all we are going to use in this video. Yeah, so to see. So, of course, the first thing you want to do is to remove your makeup. So, I'm just going to take a makeup wipe. And you can find in, it's good to have individually packed makeup wipes because sometimes makeup wipes dry out or something of the sort. And of course, I nearly forgot a mirror that is just 
really essential but if you have a mirror at your workplace or even in a washroom where um, the function is going on that's okay so you don't really have to carry a mirror so the first thing we're going to do is remove the makeup and you can see these are not makeup remover wipes so they are really tough to remove the makeup definitely don't advocate for these ones but they are doing their job eh? And what you want to do, especially if you're just changing up your look and you're not really starting from scratch, is avoid removing your foundation. Just remove only from your eye area. Let's assume we've carried one makeup wipe. Let's just see how this makeup is going to go. <laughs> assuming i only have this one let's just see how it's gonna go i said avoid removing your your foundation and stuff so yeah so now we are gonna go and uh, put our eye drops next before we draw our eyes let's just put our eye drops because uh, the irritating part is over so and me I normally just I've actually put in the eye drops let them start working and then we're gonna take our pencil we're not going to use anything that I've not mentioned we're going to take our pencil and fill in back our brows this is actually not a very favorable shade of pencil for me but we'll have to work with it because it's sort of like a reddish brown quite um, light for my liking I'm going to take our setting powder we're going to like apply it all over our face just to make the face looks fresher yeah as you can see my face is starting to look fresher There's a giant pimple here on my face. Ignore it. <laughs> so now that we're done with that, we are going to take our eyeshadow palette. And we're just going to pick any color that we really like. I'm just going to go with this pinkish one. Is it really pink? I don't know. It's like red. It's like burgundy, I'd say. And I'm just going to apply it all over my eyelid. You know, just to make me look presentable or like i put in effort so if you have um because you've carried only one brush i'm going to give you another tip make sure you apply the lighter color first before you apply the darker shade because you'll use the same brush so that is a tip I'm going to give you. So start off with the lighter color of your choice. And if you want like a smoky effect and you don't have like um what is it called um eyeliner you didn't carry eyeliner you can just dab in a bit of dark literally dabbing like don't swipe it because it's going to extend to a long area just dabbing like literally dabbing in like what i'm doing dabbing the black don't apply it that's going to create for you a smoky effect without having to like ruin the rest of your face in the same palette i'm just going to take this blush to dab it on my cheeks oh dear that's a lot <laughs> yeah but i'm just going to like blend it out that is too much no 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 let me add some setting powder And yeah, like, 
we have to use the brush so we're just going to like finger partition this you know switch up our hair a bit yeah literally five minutes like Five minutes. There you go, guys. You won't go there with red eyes. Uh, you won't go there with uh, hair that is unmade. You won't go there with eyebrows that have faded off. You won't go there with lack of color on your skin. You won't go there plain, and you'll feel fresh and you'll feel good. So make sure that you follow these tips that I've given you. Okay, you don't have to follow them by way. These are just tips. Maybe in case you didn't know, uh, what you can do. Maybe you normally wonder why are some people so fresh in the evening. Well, that's some of the tips that they normally do. So thank you so much guys for watching. As I said, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like this video. I'll see you in my next video. Continue having a wonderful Christmas season and enjoy it. Bye.